Good morning. This is Bill from out of Europa, Naples, on a lovely duck-free morning. There was one lingering around here a minute ago watching me, but um, a Labrador retriever from up the street came by, and he was nowhere to be seen, so uh, the dog kind of saved me from that one. Uh, so everything's good, and we can go forward. This is a 2013 Mercedes-Benz GL450 4Matic. Uh, essentially, this is Mercedes-Benz version of the family truckster. Uh, big seven-passenger SUV, weighs about six tons. Eh, not really, but it still weighs a lot. Uh, big V8, seven-passenger. Uh, the thing is, you know, a nice big piece. Uh, its competition includes the Q7, the Cadillac Escalade, uh, you know, and other sort of uh, big suckers like that. And it outsells all of them uh, for the most part. This is one of the best-selling large SUVs in the country. Uh, remarkably so. Uh, so Mercedes must be doing something right. Uh, certainly the styling is fantastic. Uh, this is the first year of the redesign, so it's a very fresh, very current model. Uh, you can see those lovely uh, HID headlamp assemblies up front with the uh, LEDs, enough of them to light up Chicago. Uh, they're adaptive. They go left, right, up, down, whatever you need with, uh, you know, with whatever position you're in. Uh, nice option on the car. Uh, also has an appearance package, a little bit of this that, uh, you know, it all adds up. The thing stickered out over 75 grand, which is, you know, pretty damn expensive. So uh, it better be good for that money. And it is. It's, uh, you know, a 4.7 liter V8 with twin turbos, seven speed automatic, uh, very advanced all wheel drive system. And uh, frankly, just very easy on the eyes. This one's finished in very classic black and tan. Uh, it's got the uh, optional wheels, the running boards, the illuminated door sills, uh, you know, all in all, just a good looking piece. I don't think I'm going to be able to walk around it uh, while at the same time getting all of it in the frame because again, this is a big sucker. Uh, you can see the uh, the absolute length and girth of it. Uh, probably one of the finest highway cruisers I've ever been in. Very, very comfy and uh, lovely to travel in. Anyway, I'm not going to start rambling the way I did yesterday. Let's just get right into it. So uh, a little pull of a little handle there, and up comes the power lift gate. Now, uh, it is Friday, so I got some donuts for the guys. You know, I'm traveling very heavy these days. I remember there was some George Clooney movie, uh, who I'm not a big fan of, frankly, but, you know, I ended up seeing the movie, and uh, I don't remember what the hell he was, some professional guy, and his big philosophy in life was that everybody carried too much crap with them. Uh, you know, all the mini storage units, the bags, the, uh, you know, closets in your house full of crap. And, uh, you know, I thought that really stuck with me. I, I haven't done anything about it, but God damn it, he's right. I mean, there, there is just way too much stuff that I'm lugging around every day. And I yearn to be a, uh, you know what, I'm sure you go back to the days of cavemen and they're still lugging everything around. So yeah, maybe there's no winning. Anyway, you can see back here with the third row up, you still get a nice little cargo area. I'd lift this up and show you what's under, but of course it unsettles all the crap with me. Uh, Mercedes does have a very nice system of power seat releases. Let's do that one properly. Uh, so you press that little guy there, downfold the rear seats, and give you a lot more cargo room. Uh, also does away with your need to have two extra children, which there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, if you need, uh, you know, to have them back, well, I guess you can put them back up. And uh, there they are. Your third row is again intact. So a uh, very nice feature there from Mercedes-Benz. Uh, to close the lift gate, press that. It miraculously doesn't beep at you, which is uh, quite nice. Uh, because this has an appearance package, you get some chrome stuff here, little chrome stuff in the bumper. Uh, you see it's got the Parktronic. Uh, also the uh, receiver hitch down there at the bottom if you need to tow. And uh, frankly, I can't remember the tow capacity, but it's sizable. It's enough to take a, you know, a car on a trailer behind or you know, a boat or yeah, whatever you're towing around. All right, we're going to go under the hood, then we get into the inside. So under the hood, and by the way, what was that little beep? You know, I open the door and it gives you this beep. Well, I know I've opened the door, so truly, what is it alerting me to? Anyway, 
All right, under here, we're going to find Mercedes-Benz current version of the V8, uh, the uh, the smaller V8, 4.7 liters, twin turbo. It's the same one you get in the SL550, mind you. But uh, it puts out about 369 horse, if I remember correctly, tons of torque. And man, it turns this thing into a rocket ship. I was astounded at the performance figures. Uh, zero to 60 in under six seconds. We're talking like 5.9. Quarter mile time of 14.4. You know, going back to the late 80s, early 90s, when I was a punk, you know, street racing kid with an old Firebird, uh, I worked and worked on this 350 Chevy in that thing. And the fastest I ever made it go was like a 13.9 uh, in the quarter mile. And here the family truckster, you know, loaded up with five kids and coolers and umbrellas, uh, you know, is pretty much going to keep up with me. It's, you know, down to whoever gets the better stop off the, sorry, the better launch off the light. So uh, anyway, how the world changes. Uh, lovely engine in this thing. Very peppy, very potent and, uh, you know, very reliable as well. Gas mileage, eh, you know, if gas mileage is your thing, uh, you probably shouldn't have a giant family and need to lug them around everywhere. All right, again, look at that intelligent light system. So it's very bright, very clever, and, uh, you know, really paves the uh, the way for you ahead. Uh, you know, again, just very, very handsome stuff. You got big 20-inch wheels. Are they 20-inch? Pirelli Scorpions. Good tires on this thing. Yeah, 20-inch. Nice, big, beautifully styled wheels. Everything lovely. Uh, you also have these nice uh, nickel-plated uh uh, well, nickel-plated looking, uh, you know, roof rails, uh, ditto the running boards down there, and, uh, you know, all very nice stuff. <clears throat> all right, now here is an interesting feature. Uh, Mercedes-Benz has done this to make everyone's life a little bit easier. Uh, you know, again, if you're one of these guys who has kids or lots of cargo, you're always folding the seats around. Well, cleverly, they have now made this a power affair. So you press that guy, stand back, and that happens all on its own. So uh, now you've got very easy access to the back. Your spoiled kids can jump back in there without having to leap over the end of a seat. Or if you roll down those uh, reared seats, then you'd be able to stick a lot of cargo in here. So pretty crafty stuff. Uh, the only thing that I don't love is that it's power one way. So uh, to release it, and this is all going to be hard with one hand. Spring loaded like the suspension on a 84 Buick. Uh, anyway, there it is. A little bit of that. I know you can't see it, but there it is. So, uh, with a little adjustment, you get it back to where it was and it works fine. Uh, so, very neat. Look at that. I found a penny. Again, telling me that my detailer didn't bother to do that, even though he had a button that would do it. Uh, anyway, very nice place to sit, very comfy, room for three. Your uh, Canadians are going to be thrilled back here. Uh, they also have the uh, rear air conditioning to keep themselves nice and cool. You got some nets for your goods and sundries. Uh, you got, what do you got? There's some vents up there in the ceiling. Uh, on the door panels, Mercedes Benz, lovely fit and finish. You've got this almond. Uh, with the uh, mocha, you know, combination, the wood, the burl wood, the nickel-plated door poles, uh, you know, very, very nice, high-quality stuff, uh, befitting a $75,000 car, which, you know, it better be. Okay, so if you want to leave your keys all over town, this does have the keyless go system. So uh, to make that work, you just press that little square. You see it folds in the mirrors when it locks. That's a setting you can change. And uh, to open it, you just put your hand on there and give it a tug and off it comes with a little bit of a beep. Uh, so what is that? What is all this smearing on the nickel plated stuff? Good Lord, a little wipe down, never killed anyone. Anyway, uh, you can see very, very attractive interior. Again, lovely almond uh, MB text there with the mocha. Uh, you got all your power window controls, your memory seat, your hatch release. Uh, this opens up these little rear vent windows. But of course, the ignition has to be on for that. Uh, I really like that. It reminds me of the 70s with those big station wagons where you could pop those rear windows open on the side and, you know, throw stuff out at the cars behind you. So uh, anyway, lovely trim, lovely fit and finish. like the little... Uh, chrome underlay there. Eh, just really, really attractive. You also have the uh, illuminated Mercedes-Benz uh, uh, scuff plate down there. All right, let's hop in. Fire it up. So foot on the brake. Tap this guy. For sure it's going to 
beep at me. Yes, it is. But you see that yellow triangle? Oh, for crying out loud, stop beeping. You see the yellow triangle over there in the mirror? That's part of the driver assistance package, which is an option on this car. Put my seatbelt on, get a hold of my C going. Oh God, is it muggy. Anyway, so it does have the driver assistance package. That gives you a blind spot monitoring. It gives you accident avoidance and pre, well, you get the pre-collision stuff standard. But uh, anyway, it does help you keep your attention on the road. Uh, you get some automatic headlights. You get a lovely multifunction steering wheel with the flippity paddles here. Uh, you got your sort of, you know, hieroglyphic, hieroglyphically challenged power, uh, <laughs> wiper switch. I mean, go figure that one out at a pinch, but uh, anyway, your front and rear wipers, your cruise control down there, uh, this kind of silly column-mounted shifter, which is the electronic version of, uh, you know, the shifter in a 75, you know, Chrysler Diplomat or whatever the hell they're called. Uh, you know, you don't have to obviously move it. You can uh, just move it down for drive, uh, move it up for reverse, then you get your camera and uh, tap it in for park. So, uh, you know, it, it, immediately I didn't love that. I thought it was kind of silly, but it does free up this whole area from having a, a shift mechanism down here. So you get a nice big bin uh, and, uh, and it works fine and it's subtle, so we'll go with it. Uh, you can see the instrument cluster, a very classic Mercedes, nicely laid out, 160 mile an hour speedo, uh, you know, a fuel indicator, that's going to come into play for you. Uh, there's your attack over on the right, your uh, water temp, uh, and of course in the center all your driver information, including two cars having an exclamation point near uh, collision up there. Actually, that just tells you the, uh, the pre-safe system is functional. Uh, also, that little coffee cup is part of the uh, driver uh, awareness uh, setting. So what's going to happen there is if you're going down the road, the car's sort of sensing how you're driving. It's scanning your eyes for any signs of trouble. And uh, if it thinks you're, uh, you know, not doing what you should, the thing's going to light up red, vibrate the wheel, and, uh, you know, tell you, you know, God damn it, Bill, you look terrible. You know, you need to get more sleep, pull over, get some coffee, stop being an idiot. So very helpful stuff from the uh, safety engineers there. Uh, also, that little car with the two sticks on either side is actually showing you that uh, <clears throat> when that lights up green, you're inside your lane and everything's fine. Uh, when it lights up red, it's going to vibrate the wheel and tell you, again, you're tracking outside the lane and, you know, you probably need some some therapy. So uh, here's your multifunction stuff here. Very, very nice. Um, uh, this does have active parking assist. So uh, what that, I think if I put it in drive, that'll come up. Let's see. Man, not immediately. Anyway, a little P comes up where these two cars are having a collision. And, uh, you know, if you're parallel parking, what'll happen is you'll, uh, you know, it'll give you a little arrow. You hit an OK button. Do you want help? Yes. And the thing will actually move the steering wheel for you to help you parallel park in a space. So uh, very nice advanced steering, all made capable through computers and uh, steer by wire systems. So uh, it actually works well. I love that uh, I didn't find any parallel parking places or it had demonstrated it, but uh, I can tell you it's fun. <laughs> All right, up there on top of the dash is the Parktronic indicator for the front. You also get one that you see in your rear view mirror. Uh, when you get close to stuff, that'll get bigger and turn red and start beeping at you. Uh, here is the uh, in-dash uh, command unit, the infotainment. You see we got our navigation. Uh, you can also get into your uh, audio settings, FM, AM, satellite, memory card, music, register, Bluetooth audio. I mean, if you can't entertain yourself with all that crap, then you really do need therapy. So uh, over here, we've got, what do we got? We got our Bluetooth. Nice. Uh, we got our uh, video system. If you want to watch a DVD, something body, uh, you know, whatever you need. Uh, down here, the direct access to all that stuff instead of scrolling through the little joystick you can just direct press it in dash cd changer a little place for your sd card uh here are your heated seats uh this gives you the camera i think we showed you that but there it is again 
very, very nice. And just, you know, everything <clears throat> kind of lovely there. Uh, up here, you've got a self-dimming rearview mirror with your home leg garage door. Uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, Embrace stuff. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. It looks dark, but, uh, you know, if you have car trouble, you press that. They'll get your roadside assistance. Uh, if you're lost at sea, hit the SOS button, and they'll send out a ship. Uh, down here, you've got your dual side climate control, uh, you know, of course, zone one, zone two, make everybody happy. Uh, you got a little bin to put stuff down there. Uh, this great little red, this is a very classic Mercedes, is the genuine wood roller bins. Uh, you know, in the old cars, they always broke, but they were nice when they worked, and, you know, hopefully this one's made better. Uh, anyway, I love moving that forward. Uh, I don't know what you got here. A genuine, is that an ashtray? Yeah, kind of an actual ashtray. Uh, you can use that if you're a smoker. You got some cup holders. Uh, this is your joystick for the command unit. Moves up, down, spins. Um, all right, and this is uh, part of the aromatic suspension. So if I hit this, let me go into drive and hit this, you see it's going to start flashing. And the vehicle is rising. And once it stops rising, uh, it'll all tell you it's there and it's good. That light will become constant and the car will, you know, stop rising. And what that does is, of course, give you a little bit more uh, ground clearance for when you need it and uh, works out really, really well. So kind of cool stuff. Um, a DSR down here, that's a hill descent feature. When you press that, it'll help you get down a hill. Uh, and here you got a great little spot for your USB, a little bin to put stuff in. This feels cheap, you know, for a Mercedes. I guess they didn't even have to put it in there, you never know. But I mean, why bother? It's a cheap looking little bin. Uh, anyway, lovely stuff. Uh, you can see now the uh, rising vehicle has stopped. We are now a little bit higher than we were. And I'm gonna hop out or in park and show you how that looks. Yeah, so look at that. Now we got tons of room in the wheel walls. Lovely stuff. If you needed a little more room to get over an object, you got it. All right, in here, traditional glove box. You see a set of books. We got two keys. Uh, here's the window sticker, which is nice to have. This thing's damned expensive. So let me get there. If, uh, if you're shopping for this thing, you can pause it and sort of see what it's got. But uh, there you go. You see it's got the um, uh, P1 package, the lighting package, appearance package, three-zone climate. Uh, it really bumps up the uh, price from the standard of 63 up to 75. Uh, and these things are just not created equal. There's all kinds of crap you can put in them. You can make this thing cost 100 grand if you want to, but it becomes kind of silly. Uh, this is a very nicely equipped level and uh, very, very proper. So, all right, let's see. Get some music on. What do we got the 80s going? Uh, it's a great song. Love it. Naked Eyes. All right, that's all me. Uh, and by the way, if you want to change that, you can. We uh, can use our voice activation. Let's try that. Next station. Uh, now we're into the 90s, so let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, Mariah Carey. Gag me. Let's go back. Previous station. And it worked fantastic. So there you go. Uh, voice command that works with the navigation, the radio, you know, keeps you connected. All right, so more than anything else, what this thing is, and I'm gonna lower us back down. We're not driving around looking ridiculous. You can see we're now lowering. Uh, what this thing is, is a big seven passenger, lovely cruiser. Uh, it has, you know, probably the world's most comfortable seats. Uh, you know, you take a long trip, forget it. You don't even have to think about it. You're gonna feel very nice when you get there. <coughs> Excuse me, no issues at all. Uh, very comfy going down the highway. You can just eat up miles and miles of uh, of road with this thing without really feeling it. Now in the cluster you can see that little blue P and that is your active parking assist starting to think about things. It comes on when you start rolling slow uh, trying to sense if, uh, if you need some help which you probably do. Uh, going down the road again this big uh, twin turbocharged V8 pushes this thing. Ah, look at that we got the competition. Yeah, just not selling as well are you? Just not selling as well. 
Anyway, uh, it goes down the road, you know, wow. Uh, plenty of torque, plenty of pep. Uh, you know, you can buy a 550 or even a 63 with, you know, 188 more horsepower. But, you know, I mean, unless you're just a nut, you really don't need it. I mean, this thing should be quick enough for anybody. Uh, goes down the road, lovely, smooth, proper. Yeah, I mean, the first time I drove a GL, it was, of course, an old, you know, 07 or something. And I just thought, man, this is the modern incarnation of the Vista Cruiser. You know, it just has this lovely, big, smooth, you know, American feel feel to it. And of course it is made in Alabama. So, uh, you know, some of that does genetically make its way in. This thing is basically a domestic car. Um, and it's rolling out. Ah, there we go. And Range Rover outsells those things too. Plus parts don't usually fall off this thing going down the road the way they do on a Range Rover. Uh, Anyway, so there it is. This is a 2013 Mercedes-Benz GL450 4Matic. Uh, that means, of course, it does have a very nice advanced all-wheel drive system. Uh, fantastic seven-passenger highway cruiser with some lovely safety and luxury features. And uh, just a joy to drive this thing. You know, if you got family truckster duties, you're a general contractor, you got 19 kids, uh, you know, this is probably going to be a good vehicle for you. Uh, if you're looking to save gas and, you know, zip your way through city traffic, eh, think again. But uh, otherwise, uh, you know, nice piece to have around. So, uh, you have an interest, give us a call, 239-649-7300, on the web at MercedesExpert.com. Uh, thank you so much for having a look.